Hello, in this video overview, we're going to talk about the multiple ways that students can access Google Classroom. This entails what device will they have available to them, and do they have internet access at home. There are two factors that impact access to learning, and that is, do I have a device as a student, and do I have internet access at home? This may not be the case. So North Clackamas School District will be communicating to you shortly about a process for students to be able to check out devices, our Chromebooks to be more specific. We also know that students may not have access to internet at home. And again, there will be a process for checkout for mobile hotspots for them as well. We prefer that we have students use the Chromebooks. However, we do know that some of them have preferences for their tablets, their cell phones, or perhaps their computers at home. There are two pieces of information they will need in order to get access to their North Clackamas School District Chromebook if they already have an internet service provider at home. Those two items are the name of their Wi-Fi network, which will generally appear here, and their Wi-Fi password. When it prompts them for the Wi-Fi password, or just click on it, and then put in the password. If for some reason the Wi-Fi network option does not appear at first, they can go down to the lower right-hand corner and look for this little Wi-Fi icon. When they click on it, they will see a list of available networks. They are to click on the network and then enter the Wi-Fi password. Of course, with younger students, they will need assistance from their parent or guardian. Once they have enabled their Wi-Fi, they then need to navigate to Google Classroom. Or, if you're a K-1 teacher and you're using the Easy button, they'll need to be able to access that. To access Google Classroom, when the student opens the Chromebook, at the shelf, this is called the shelf at the bottom, they should see a Google Classroom icon. If they do not see a Google Classroom icon there, they will need to use the search button, which is this circle on the lower left-hand side of the Chromebook, click on it, and then type in Classroom, and Classroom, the application, should show up. Or they can use the magnifying glass here, click on that, type in Classroom, and Classroom should open up. Once they are connected to their Wi-Fi, they should be able to see the North Clackamas class link icon here. They would type in their username without the at nclack.org. We see that we're at the North Clackamas login here, so they do not need that, and their six-digit ID number, unless they have actually changed it. And then they'll go ahead and sign in. Kindergarten and first grade teachers, if you have your QR codes, they can, of course, use this and enable the camera and scan their QR code. I'm just going to go ahead and sign in here. Depending on the grade level of your student, you will see different resources here. To get to Google Classroom, I can click here and I can see Google Classroom is here. If students are not using a North Clackamas Chromebook and they're using their own personal device, but they're familiar with using the ClassLink interface, they can access that by going to our North Clackamas School District website and then going to Students. You can see that underneath Students, the first option we have is ClassLink. They would use their normal username and password that they do when they're using a Chromebook at school. And then they would be able to log in or they would use, if they're a K-1 student, kindergarten or first grade student, they could use their scanning of their QR codes. Another option is they can navigate to google.com. We recommend that they use Chrome, but you can use other browsers as well. Some of the functionalities might be a little different or the interface, but generally what they would do is sign in. And because they're not in a Google Chromebook from North Clackamas, they would, in fact, have to put in the at nclack.org and then their password.
when they enter through this option, they would then select the apps icon and search for Google Classroom. When I go here, if I need to again add a class, I would put in the code that the teacher has given me. Once I have done that, I am now in my teacher's classroom. When they are in their Google Classroom application with their Chromebook, they may see other classes, whether they're in secondary or if they're in elementary, a previous teacher that they had. To enroll in your classroom that you've created for this online learning, they would need to go up here to the plus. They will need that code to join. Once they do that, they now have been granted access to your Google Classroom and they would see any of the assignments that you have posted. If we go back here and you are already using Google Classroom, they would just click on this and they would access your current Google Classroom.